So first things first, this isn't a well-constructed commentary piece on servers or in-game lag and I immediately apologise to anybody that has clicked on this video hoping to find a solution to fix in-game lag within EA's games. I mean this is an uneducated man, <laughs> uneducated in terms of knowing everything there is to know with regards to online gaming and how servers and connections work. An uneducated man ranting about how f***ed off I am with almost every single online experience which involves EA Games. EA Games. Challenge everything. Two games in particular are annoying me at the moment. Battlefield 5 and FIFA 19. Now both games have been out for what, four months at this stage? But yet... I still experience frequent lag on both of those games. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not every single time I play, but I have to say it's frequent enough for me to record a video expressing my concerns and then posting and sharing it on the internet. Electronic Arts brought in 5.15 billion US dollars in revenue in 2018. Now money doesn't buy you happiness, but it certainly should be able to buy you the most reliable and powerful servers and technology known to man to allow you, Electronic Arts as a company, to provide the best possible online experience for your games and your consumers. Furthermore, all that money also means you have the ability to pretty much employ anybody you want who once again can ensure that you have the knowledge, experience and ability to provide the best possible online experience. Now I'd be surprised if anybody stepped forward and said that they are impressed with the service currently provided by Electronic Arts in terms of online experience, it's just naff. Now, immediately I realise that many people who watch this will turn this into my problem and I'm not silly enough to blame every single loss on FIFA or every single time I'm killed in Battlefield on lag. I'm fully aware that some people are just better at the game than me. But at the moment, FIFA still has this speed up lag which basically fast forwards the game by a few seconds to catch up and it means that I have absolutely no control over the game for those few seconds and it always appears that my opponent continues to play as normal and that few seconds of me not being able to control the players inevitably leads to a moment where they will either score or create a scoring opportunity swiftly followed by a torrent of abusive language from myself. Now Battlefield has the old so familiar rubber banding lag at the moment where you go forward and then you'll spring back to where you were before or you may see an enemy, shoot them, nothing happens and they spring over to the left or right and kill you instantly. Now if you're going to stand here and tell me you haven't experienced one of those in-game lag moments then you are a liar. Of course, I guarantee the top comment on this video will be, what's your up and download speeds? And I mean, my internet speed is good. There's nothing wrong with my internet or my internet service provider. It has its moments like any internet service provider, but I don't get noticeable or frustrating lag on any other games. I mean, Activision games, all fine. Rockstar games, all fine. Ubisoft, I can't recall the last Ubisoft game I even played, but yeah, they, they were all pretty much fine. And I know lag happens. I can accept that sometimes my internet service provider will be the reason for occasional lag. That's absolutely fine. I accept that external factors may well affect my internet connection and cause lag, which again, I accept that will happen on the odd occasion. I mean, I can even accept that EA or DICE or whoever it is have occasional problems with their servers which may cause lag, which again, I'm happy to sit and accept that. But the regularity of lag with games published by EA is just so often that it has to be something to do with them. It just has to be. It makes no sense. They are the only reoccurring factor with these games that lag all so often. It's just that EA is the publisher so it must be something they are doing i mean maybe it's dice maybe it's ea sports i i really don't know but you know what 
I would love to know. My final point on this ridiculously stupid rant where I'm just sat here venting about lag at the moment. And the part that really, really bugs me about this whole scenario is that this isn't the first game they have ever made. It's not like this is the first Battlefield game that has ever been made, or it's not like it's a Battlefield game that is massively different to every other Battlefield game. They're doing something brand new and exciting. It's the same with FIFA. I mean, FIFA, it comes out every bloody year. Every single year, we get a new FIFA game, and EA know that the vast majority of people who buy and play FIFA buy and play it for pro clubs, for online head-to-head, -head, for Ultimate Team. And I mean, Ultimate Team started on the 19th of March 2009, which means we are approaching 10 years of FIFA Ultimate Team. 10 years and you still can't provide a reliable online service. I mean, at this stage, it is pathetic. I mean, how anyone can sit and be proud of a product that performs like that is beyond me. I mean, money talks. As long as the shareholders are happy, then nobody gives two hoots, which is terrible. It's just a big shame, to be honest with you. But I guarantee you right now that the people programming the games care. The people designing and turning these ideas into a reality care. The people that don't care will be absolutely every single person above that level because that's where care and passion for a product walk out the door and sheer greed and targets take over, which is the world we live in, but it shouldn't be at the expense of the players, in my opinion. Now, they will have bonus schemes galore within that company and all they care about is how many copies leave the shelf so somebody somebody in EA just needs to step up and make all of this right somebody needs to go yes the product is leaving the shelves but how about we make a product that leaves the shelves that we're actually proud of for once that is actually performing as we want it and our consumers expect it to perform now unfortunately I can't see that ever happening and look, truth be told, all I want is for my games that I own to run as expected. That's all I want. I don't want anything major. I don't care for DLC. I don't want extra content. I mean, it would be nice, but step one would be some games that just run really, really well. Please, please sort it out EA or whoever is responsible please just sort it out now I'm not naive enough to think that this video is going to result in anything to be honest with you I mean my hope is that it gets enough traction so that I get some answers I would love for some industry insiders just to comment on this video or DM me or do whatever and just just sit and, and answer my questions and explain to me why this stuff keeps happening because it's just ridiculous at this stage i just want to know why these games lag yet other publishers games don't lag or don't lag as often i'm aware that lag is inevitable but i'd like to know why it's more frequent with games published by ea compared to anybody else i mean it's pretty simple big first world problems i mean look if someone out there can tell me why transferring heaps of data to somebody else on the other side of the planet can cause a slight delay, then that would be great. That's that's all I want to know. That's the only answers I want to know. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any more of an insight into this or an understanding, then please do let me know in the comment section below. If you're new around here, then please do hit that subscribe button to help the channel to grow. EA, please just make your games work for me, please. Thank you very much. Apart from that, I'm Waterfields1. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your gaming. See you later.